Hey guys, we're gonna do a tangy deck profile. Wee! Alright, in our main deck, we wanna run three Earth. He's really good for uh, extending your combo plays. And what he does is any of your banished uh, tangy monsters, you can uh, banish this card from your hand or graveyard and add one of the banished cards back to your hand just so you can special summon them again since they all have the first effect to special summon themselves as long as you control no effect monsters. Then we go with three of the water one. When a non-effect monster you control is, is destroyed in general. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard or hand, special summon the monster, the non-effect monster back, and then you have the option to pop something. And he's really good just to keep your big beat stick on the field to make it really hard for your opponent just to get rid of stuff. Then you play three of the fire one. Then you go and you play three of the air one. You can banish this one from your hand or graveyard. Um, when an attack between a non-effect monster you control and an, and a monster your opponent controls, uh, you can and when you banish this card, you it doesn't target. It just minuses 1,500 attack from your opponent's monster. So most anything you can get over. And then my favorite one is the dark one. You can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, and it's just a compulse for any card on the field. And then we'll play three Mare Mare. You can do some really crazy stuff with Mare Mare. Um, special summoning it off of Shaman, uh, just to spam board and get, a, just go off on your link plays. Then of course sir, we're gonna run three Ash. Going off to our spell cards, we're gonna run three Vessel of the Dragon Cycle. Uh, what this card does is it sends a worm monster from your deck to the graveyard, and then if you control a non-effect monster, you can add one worm monster from your deck to your hand as well. Then we're going to play two Field Spell, a Flawless Perfection of the Tangy, and one Terraforming. All non-effect monsters you control uh, are unaffected by monster effects, and once per turn during your opponent's turn, when your opponent special summons a monster, you draw two cards. Then we'll play two Pot of Desires, one one for one, one Foolish, one Monster Reborn, and one Raigeki. For the trap cards, we play two Fist of the Unrivaled Tangy. As long as you control a non-effect monster, you, at any point in time, you just negate something. And if this card is set and your opponent destroys it, you just special summon um, a non-effect monster from your extra deck. For instance, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. <sighs> Just throw it on the field. See what they do. Then we're going to play two Waterfall of the Dragon Souls. This card is really, really good for this deck since you just act you can activate it and add a Worm-type monster from your deck to your hand, or you can send Worm monsters from your field or hand to the field and or hand to the graveyard and then draw that many cards plus one. Then we're going to play three evenly matched. I just had, I decided to play this over a few other things just for meta. So just, you know, play towards your meta and what you feel like you're going to face wherever you go. And now onto our extra deck. We're running two monk of the Tengi, one Link Karibo. I can't tell you how many times Link Karibo came in clutch just being able to bring him back from the graveyard. Two Shaman. Shaman is pretty pretty crucial for your, uh, your going off plays. You can discard a card from your hand and special summon any worm monster from your graveyard like Mare Mare, and then Mare Mare's effect would activate. And uh, she has... Her second effect says that if a non-effect monster you control attacks, or when, when a non-effect monster your po or you control declares an attack, you just target and destroy one card your opponent controls. And then we play two Berserker of the Tangy. 
this guy right here is why I decided to play this deck. Because Luffy is my favorite anime character, and he just straight up looks like Luffy. One Crusadia Avermax, one Baxia, one Yazzie, and then for the, just in case your opponent hits your trap cards, you play one Master of Oz, and one Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And then just some fillers that I had that never got played. Uh, Starving Venom Fusion, number 69, and Evil Swarm Exciton Knight.